Let's see if we can get this working now. Hold on, hold on. One second, ladies. What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about the ultimate guide on men ignoring you. I know that sounds kind of weird, and this is not going to be how to get him to not ignore you and to get him crawling back at your feet. It's not about that. It's just about the psychology and the mentality on why a, a guy ignores you and what he's thinking, okay? So if you're interested in that to get a little better insight on your situation, well, here you go. Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I will love you forever and ever and ever. And you want to, if you want to work with yours truly, that's me, uh, links are down in the description, okay? And if you want more on this, everyone's going to ask me, how do I do this? How do I do that? What does this mean? What does that mean? Attraction Academy. Get my course, Attraction Academy. It's, I'm upgrading it in the next couple months. Um, it's going to be a very nice course. No extra cost to you. If you buy it now, check it out, okay? So, ladies, jumping right into this, the ultimate guide on men ignoring you, okay? The first thing I want to talk about is the big concept, and this is kind of where everything else falls under. So remember this, and I will touch on this a couple times throughout this, this presentation, but the umbrella in which all things fall, fall under is the main reason he's ignoring you is to gain an advantage in resources. That doesn't mean to gain an advantage over you. It might not have anything to do with you. And I know some people are going to think automatically, Elliot, you're making this too hard. He's just not, he's just ignoring me because he doesn't like me. Well, yes, that's true. But why is the tactic ignoring you, right? Like you got to think deeper. It's like, yeah, he doesn't like you, but then why is he doing, like, then why does that mean you, you'll, you'll see what I mean, okay? But sometimes this might not have anything to do with you. That's why that's not the answer, okay? It's how he's, it's the actions he's taking with his resources um, on top of ignoring you, if that makes sense. And we'll go into all this, so don't worry, okay? But just know that it all comes down to resources. And when I mean resources, ladies, if you haven't watched my material enough, it's time, energy, effort, money, uh, you know, emotional investment, like that kind of stuff. Um, so, logical reasoning on why uh, ignoring comes into play. Why ignoring is the tactic to use. So first off, you must remember that a man's resources are finite. There's a limited amount, okay? He's just not going to keep on talking to you. He's not going to keep on investing in you. He's not going to keep on doing whatever he's doing with his resources if he does not see a logical reason doing so, which is basically getting an asset from you or seeing you long term. So if those two things are not in the picture, you're going to probably be ignored or at least for the most part, your relationship with this guy is going to be short lived. Another thing is resources have to be strategically put elsewhere if possible. Due to them being limited, he needs to get the most value out of them. These resources are valuable, as I have in the next point here, right? So I guess we've got to go, we've got to, go to number three. The resources are valuable. He's not just going to keep on investing them in you if he doesn't have to. He has to strategically put them in other places due to his evolutionary obligation, due to validation, due to maybe an ego boost, due to attracting a woman. He has to put them in women that he sees assets in, that he might see long term. And when I say assets, that could be many things. That could be maybe I just want to have sex with her. Maybe she's an ego boost. Maybe I want to get married and have her babies in the white picket fence, whatever, okay? But a man is going to spread these resources strategically, just like stock, just like in, uh, just like in money and investments and things like that. He's going to spread them to get the most out of that, and that could be that, uh, it could be more than just one thing. Maybe I'm going to put some in this girl because I find her sexually attractive and I want to be friends with benefits. But I'm still playing the field and looking for Miss you know Miss Right. So I'm going to put them in other places. But if I find this woman over here and I really, really like her, I'm going to do that. And I'm probably going to cut her off with my friends with benefits and put them more in this woman. Or, or maybe he's not even looking across the field and he sees them all in you and he puts them all. You, you get what I'm saying. He has to strategically pass them around. And of course, the last point here is 
based off what I said, men end up getting very picky on who they invest their resources in long term. You might not see that short term and you're like, no, he doesn't. Guys, this is, that's bullshit because guys, they always are putting their resources in me in the beginning and then they pull away. Well, that's because he sees the assets in doing so. He sees the benefit in doing so. If he finds you attractive or maybe he does want something with you, then realizes he doesn't later on down the road, whatever. A man will always do it though if he sees a large, okay, th this is just, this just comes hand in hand. He's not going to invest in you if he does not see the benefit in doing so. And just because you don't see it or you don't think it's a benefit doesn't mean that he is on that same page, right? You could be like, well, why would a guy invest in a girl so heavily short term just to cut it off? Well, it could be a million things, you know, it could be ego boost. It could be to have sex with you. Maybe he just puts a lot of value on sex. Maybe it's, um, he thought he, he thought you you and him were a good match. Then he got in his own head and ran away, right? But either way, from his perspective, it is worth it. Okay, you have to remember that, ladies. So, the top reasons men ignore you. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into this. He takes you for granted. This means he believes he has you secured, and and that he can invest his resources elsewhere. Now, a lot of women are gonna read this and think. It's bad that someone takes you for granted. It's not bad that someone takes you for granted as in like an evil conniving type of way. I feel like sometimes when people take people for granted, it's um, it, it's subconsciously. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you might realize you're doing it, but I mean, I don't think it's with evil intentions. Like I take friends, family, air, water, food, today, tomorrow, my time, I take it all for granted because I've always had an abundance of it, right? Um, same with you. The reason you're getting taken for granted is because there's probably an abundance of you and or he has in his mind a secure wrap around you in the situation and he needs to invest those things, those those uh um, resources elsewhere, just like I said over here, right? Hold on. It's, it's, it comes down to an advantage of resources, and just like I said here, he needs to strategically pass them around, okay? So why keep on investing them in a woman that I know I have, unless I'm thinking long term, okay? Which kind of contrasts the next point, another woman's in the picture. If another woman's in the picture, you gotta remember, these resources are finite, I can't invest in you anymore. I, I, I can, you know, now there's two women, now it's 50-50, depending on who I see more value in. It might be 60-40, 30-70, 90-10, what at bread, end up breadcrumbing, it is what it is. This is the reality. Uh, another reason is, and these last three reasons I would say are probably the most accurate, most common. You two want different things. He might invest a lot in you um, in the beginning and then start ignoring you because he realizes you two want different things. And when I say ignore, that is much different than pulling away. I guess ignore is the wrong way to put it, but a guy will, you know, I mean, it does happen. A guy does ignore you over the stupidest shit. And I don't think it's the right thing to do. I don't think it's good communication skills. And I think it hurts, you know, it hurts one or the other, um, but it's reality. Another thing is assets aren't worth the liability. Sometimes he got the assets uh, and or if he didn't get the assets, he realizes to continue this going is more of a probability or more of a problem for me. Um, and it's just not worth the assets. Long distance could be an example. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. Um, investing in a woman when you two want different things, that's that's a liability. It's just not worth the assets. Investing in a heavily in a woman who is not in your league or vice versa. You 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 know, investing in a man who's not in your league, that just not worth it. That's just the reality. And of course, lastly, pressure to make a decision ahead of him actually being ready, right? So it moving too fast, too soon, um, and things like that. Now, you're probably wanting to know, what are these men thinking? What are men thinking when they ignore you? And I have a video on this, uh, I, I can link somewhere around here, but jumping into this, I think there's three categories. There's a low interest man, there's the semi, like in the middle, not sure kind of guy, and then there's the interested guy. And ladies, trust me, a lot of the times, you're not in the category with the interested guy.
that's just reality. You're probably in the category of the man of low interest and maybe a man semi-interested. And I say that with this thing, and this caveat, this, this quote I always have in my head. If a guy truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you. But let's jump in. So a man with low interest, and I know you're going to ask me, how do I know where his interest level is? Get my Course Attraction Academy. There's a quiz on it, and I have a whole 30-minute video talking about a man's interest and how to find out where, where you stand, okay? But a man with low interest, um, if he's pulling away and ignoring you, you're just doing him a favor if you do the same thing, okay? Like, you're just doing him a favor. You're an afterthought. He Women come to me all the time, and they ask me, is he? What's he thinking? Is he think? Is he? Is he on the same page? Like, is he thinking about me at all? Does he care at all? If low interest, probably not, at all, actually. And the only reason you would come around is, or uh, at least come around in his mind, is if you pop back in in terms of assets. Like you're pre-qualified. He knows he can have you. It's like, well, why not continue? Like, why not hit her up and get these assets and then rinse and repeat? The th same thing is going to happen. Ladies, let me tell you something. A man who pulls away is not going to get this sudden interest out of nowhere. Pulls away as in terms of ignoring you. And they say the gap's pretty big. He's not going to come back all of a sudden and want your fucking babies. Women always think, and I talk about this in another slide, a future slide, but women think for some reason that when a guy comes back, it's, it's a good sign. No, trust me, the attraction did not pick up at all. There's no reason for it to pick up. If a man ignores you and he's ignored you for three months and then comes back around, or you're one of these women watching and this guy reaches you back or reaches out on you, or reaches out to you on Facebook and you were high school friends um, and he's hitting you up, it's not because he likes you, okay? There's assets to be obtained. There's no way you created that attraction being gone or him just not giving a shit. I don't know where women get this concept where a man's brain just shifts and clicks. And even though he didn't like you uh, to begin with for the most part and not talk to you for three months, you think he's coming back around gung-ho ready to date. No, no, no. He's going to hit it and quit it. That is exactly what's going to happen, okay? Now, then there's the semi-interested man, the man in the middle, the man who's not sure. Um, depending on what he wants, if it's a relationship or not, he's going to come back, he's going to come and go. If he wants a relationship, um, then he's on the fence if he made the right decision or not, kind of ignore or pulling back, but, you know, uh, but he still sees the assets. Again, if he wants a relationship, he's going to make that decision, assets versus liabilities, pros and cons. Did I make the right choice? If he doesn't want a relationship, then he's just a guy who likes you and likes the assets but has no intentions on jumping into a relationship, okay? So you got to figure that out first. And again, that's in my Course Attraction Academy. Then this guy will more likely, more than like, he will wonder about you from time to time and reach out a lot because there, again, there is interest in you. Um, but it, it comes down to wanting a relationship or not. And this kind of goes back to the low interest guy. If this guy doesn't want a relationship with you and you stop talking, he's not going to come out of nowhere and want a relationship. You have to look at the context. He's going to come back around, okay, with the context of, I can, let me see if I can have my cake and eat it too. But I do like her. This is where the woman, I think, has the advantage and she needs to cut the guy off and make him think, oh, sh oh shit, did I actually make the right decision doing what I was doing with her? Because now she has, she cut me off. I can't just come back in. You need to make a guy work for it, okay, uh, in this situation. This is where I think the woman has power because the man's on the uh, – the edge. This well, I'm gonna actually explain why she has power. Cause he's he he can have his cake and eat it too, right? You're sticking around hoping he changes his mind, um, and he's going to take advantage of that because he's going to go off and do his own thing. But if you're still there waiting, well, then where's the urgency? Where's the threat? Where's the repercussion to his actions? There is none, right? So you have to cut this man off and make him think, oh fuck, I need to make a decision, and then him come back around and actually be like, okay, well, let's try this out. Um, and then, of course, there's the interested guy. And I'm just saying, ignoring you and not reaching out are two completely different things. A guy who truly likes you won't won't do this. Um, 
But I feel like if a guy did do this, he's just taking you for granted, which isn't always a bad thing. I don't even, I didn't even want to put this third category in there because I truly think if a guy likes you, you wouldn't even have to be watching this video, okay? So, women are going to ask me then, what are the chances of, of him coming back? Well, um, first off, let me use the Disneyland analogy. I use this in other videos. Uh, I'm just going to put it here just in case you haven't heard it. So, I use the Disneyland analogy, uh, or the analogy goes, let's say you're somebody who really, really, really has always wanted to go to Disneyland. Disneyland was your dream, or Disney World. You go there, you spend three days there, you get a hotel, 24 hours, you know, you're you're either at Disneyland having a fun time with your friends or you're at the hotel or going out to eat, something like that. Three days straight, non-stop movement, Disneyland. By the time you are done, something as valuable as going home and resting is going to have as much value as Disneyland. And when you go home and rest for a day or a week, you're not automatically going to be like, oh my God, let's go back to Disneyland. No, no, no. You're going to, you're going to have to have that time go by and Disneyland is going to slowly regain value um, in terms of you missing it or not value, but let's try it. Let's do it again. Let's do it. Again. You know, you're not going to feel that right when you get back home. Okay. So same thing happens with men. When you and him start pulling away or you just break up or he starts to ignore you, he's not all of a sudden within the first month going to be like, oh my God, I, need, I, I love her. I need to come back. No, no, no. You got to give him the opportunity to miss you. You got to let it marinate. He's, you got to let it sink in. You got to let him reminisce. Okay? The, you, the, men are no different than women when it comes to these kind of things. Things you're going to remind, depending on the interest level, for the love of God, depending on this stuff, you know, uh, things you're gonna remin or things you're gonna remind you of us, you know, lonely Saturday nights, smells, things we see on TV, jokes someone else said. I mean, whatever it is that reminds you of us, okay? Um, inside jokes, it's all gonna happen. So, with that being said, I, you know, is he gonna come back around? Well, depend or or not? It depends on these things and the reasons he would come back around, which isn't always a good thing. I said that before. I'm saying it here again. Him returning is not always a good thing. You might be pre-qualified and he's going to take advantage of those assets, okay? He might take advantage of those assets. He's going to come back around um, and, 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 and get those and then rinse and repeat. Why? Because you, uh, you let him. Why? Because you were hoping he would return. Why? Because you're sitting there like a dog without its owner waiting for it to come home, right? Do not do that, ladies. Go off and do your own thing. Go off and do your own thing. Men get the power so much because women have so much hope that things are going to work out and a guy takes advantage of this. So that's one end of it. Now the other end is, you know what, I realized this girl's, again, based on interest here, this girl's actually a nice girl. I like her a lot. I wasn't sure what I wanted or is moving really fast, but what the fuck? You know what? I kind of want a relationship. She's sweet. Let's try this out. Those are the two things, okay? Now, ba based on that, here's the reason why he wouldn't return. And you're probably in this category. Despite what you think, despite you thinking your situation is unique, it's not. Despite you thinking this guy is different, he's not. You're probably in this category. Oh, right. He's not going to return because why would he? It's a waste of resources. Uh, he got what he wanted. Uh, maybe you're not a match. He's, he's afraid of leading you on. He doesn't want to go through the shit, same shit again, such as Pandora's box or what I call the assets are not worth the liabilities, meaning, well, I, God, man, she's sexy. I do want to have sex with her, right? So going back over to this other category, there's assets. I want to return because you're pre-qualified and I know I can get it, but I ain't pulling, I ain't going through that bullshit again. No, I don't want to lead her on. I don't want her to blow up my phone. I don't want us to get in this dramatic argument. It's just not worth it. So he won't come around on, based on that. And of course, maybe you guys are just wanting different things. If you're wanting a relationship and he's not, why would he come back around? Okay. Um, well, for the assets, but that's most likely the reason. So women are going to ask me then, well, I mean, he tells me he likes me. He tells me he loves me. He tells me all these great things. Can a guy really say all that? 
and, and ignore me? No, no. He, it, it's bullshit. It's complete bullshit. He, he does not like you. There is at, if he says all that and he acts the part but he's ignoring you right now, it was all bullshit. you got to take it into context. There is absolutely no benefit for a man to ignore a woman that he truly, 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 truly likes. There is just no reason for him to do so. Okay? So, ladies, I think that's the end of it. With that being said, hopefully I gave you a little more insight on the topic. I can go pages and pages and pages deep on this stuff if you want to know more about attraction and assets and liabilities and context and desires and all that stuff I talk about uh, on a deeper level. Uh, link below, Attraction Academy. Check it out. Ladies, I love you. Take care. Stay safe and peace.